Welcome back to Rooster Crow and TV, y'all. It's been a minute, and we're back. You heard me. Hey, before we dive too deep, keep in mind it costs zero dollars and zero cents to hit that subscribe button right now. And I'll even be fair and price match and do the same thing if you hit that like button right now. You did. Hey, let's get into it, man. Once upon a time in America, right, there was this thing, this law called truancy, right? Now, I'm pretty sure truancy is a law that's still around. But from what's going on, from what's going on in the black community, you can tell it's not really being practiced, right? Now, what's truancy? Truancy is pretty much a child missing too many days of school for no good reason, you know, absentees and all. Back in the days, it was enforced, like parents would actually get arrested. Their child missed like, let's say five days of school in less than a month with no good reason. And then I guess 90 days in like a school year, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure that law varies from state to state. But um, truancy was a real thing where, you know, parents had no choice but to force these badass kids to go to school and, you know, stay in school. Because if you don't go to school, me being your parent, I can get arrested and I can charge. I can get charged with uh, a misdemeanor. You know what I mean? I could spend up to like 60 days in jail. You know what I mean? And back in the early 2000s, I remember there was a case like that where... A few parents actually got arrested, you know. So, in the article I was reading, it was like 2002. Around 2002, I was still in middle school. So, yes, my parents was big on that shit. You know what I mean? I had to go to school. I had to get... Look, <laughs> I was getting my ass kicked. I was getting my ass kicked for missing school for no good reason. Gee, shit, you know what I mean? That was not fucking off with me. And especially down south in Florida, I remember one time... Uh, it started with Jacksonville. Jacksonville, like Jacksonville started doing this big ass roundup, you know what I mean? But it was for parents, you know what I mean? So that shit kind of came down to Orlando and when my parents got wind of that shit, boy, it was not fucking off, you know what I mean? If I ever got a phone call from school telling them, hey, I ain't show up for first period of this and that, they were on my ass, right? Now, fast forward. Parents are allowed to punish their children, right? Says the court. Parents can punish their children. But that shit, is, there's a catch to it. You know what I mean? You can spank your child, right? But it cannot be excessive, right? If you spank your child to the point where it's excessive or the child get bruised up or whatever it is, you as a parent for spanking your child, you can get convicted of child abuse or something like that. You know what I mean? So this spanking pretty much cannot turn into corporal punishment. You know, corporal punishment leads to child abuse and you as a parent can get arrested. We have a lot of cases like that where parents actually got arrested for punishing their child. I don't understand this. She um, made them give it back, and she thanked me for calling her and letting her know what was going on, and she told me she would take care of it. Maybe I shouldn't have did nothing. I shouldn't have did nothing. And I still would have been wrong, though. I would have been unfit. Then it would have been saying, you should have did something. You should have disciplined her. And I did it. And now look what happened. It's just the system is messed up. It's messed up. I know any mother in their right mind would, you know, chastise their child for doing wrong. You can't do that. In this day and age, I see so many kids getting killed and I refuse to get my babies in the COVID. <laughs> So this lady actually got arrested for disciplining her children because they broke into the next door neighbor's house, right? And instead of the lady calling the police, she let the mom know. And the mom, being like any other mom, she punished the kid for breaking the kids for breaking into the next door neighbor's house. When that happened, 
she got arrested for disciplining all three of her children. Right? Once the system do something like that, it automatically switches the power from the parents to the kids. Parents started becoming scared to punish their kids. And this is the result of that. Why does the rules not apply to everybody it else? That's my phone. Everybody. No, you, know you did not keep nobody else's phone. And you finna give me my Don't touch me. That's on my phone. Don't touch me. Girl, don't touch me. Girl, don't touch me. Girl, don't touch me. Girl, don't touch me. To our newsroom, police have charged both a student and a teacher for a fight at a Rocky Mount High School that was posted on social media earlier this week. The fight happened on Monday in a classroom. Xavier Steele, a substitute teacher, was charged with a simple assault, as was the student through juvenile petition. Police said no injuries were reported. A video posted on social media showed the student confronting a teacher with the two ending up in a fight on the floor of the classroom. Steele was on top of the girl during the video. The teacher was released on a written promise to appear in court. And children are not stupid, all right? People, especially in my generation, we understood this shit, you know what I mean? And a lot of my friends used to threaten their parents with that shit. You know what I mean, I couldn't threaten my parents because my daddy didn't give a fuck. He was going to get at me anyways, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but people started, children started weaponizing this system against their parents. And a lot of parents got scared to discipline their kids, especially in our community, you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's in every community, but I like to focus on the community that I'm a part of every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Um, so a lot of parents got scared of disciplining their kids, man. And, of course, now we're in 2023, and you see videos out there of students just swinging on teachers like it's nothing. You know what I mean? I would have never thought about swinging on a teacher unless they got rough with me or unless they got aggressive with me. But getting in my teacher's face to prove a point or whatever it is over a cell phone, man, back in, I'm not sure how old this little girl is, probably middle school or something, man. But when I was in middle school, man, I probably wouldn't do no dumb ass shit like that. You know what I mean? So with that being said, man, I feel like the teacher has the right to defend herself from any threat. That little girl did swing at her first. You know, it's unfortunate that she got arrested. You know, the system doesn't work. The system tells you you can punish your children. And when you punish your children, the same fucking system come and arrest you. You feel me? And that's why I always stress about this court shit, man. People who like to use the court system to keep the fathers away from the children. All right? The only person that wins here is the system. You get it? Because the system tells you you can't do certain things or you can't do this. But when that child grows up and turns 18 years old and that child fucks up. The system is going to come and take that child and give him or she 10, 15, 20 years in the chain game. And guess who benefits from them being in the chain game? The system. All right. So, man, look, make it normal again to start disciplining your kids at home and save these teachers all the bullshit in school. Teachers shouldn't have to deal with all this mess. Teachers shouldn't have to raise your children for you. These kids are supposed to come to school already disciplined. You know what I mean? That's where I stand at. And let's talk about it in the comment section, y'all. Till next time.